covering the villages for you. Here's Jill Winters and the VNN Lifestyle News Team. Local clubs find different ways to provide health care to those in need. Plus, we have an update on construction plans at Paradise Recreation. Charitable groups in the villages like the Hot Chicks with Tattoos Knot Club and the Lake Sumter Lions Club make it a point to support organizations that make health care more accessible and affordable. The Hot Chicks are gearing up for its fourth annual Pretty in Pink party, and they're seeking the community's help to make this a profitable and fabulous fundraiser. We have amazing, amazing women. Uh, the more I talk to them, the more I find out what they've gone through with breast cancer, some of them two times and the fact that they've fought that fight and now they're in here giving me i love this one this is the gold rush basket it's got all the lottery tickets and the uh, money in it we have we just have such a variety it says a lot about who we are and what we do there you know the dog basket the the whiskey basket <laughs> we have a lot of wine <laughs> we have a really good time we're having all these lovely baskets like they call the chinese auction where you pull off little tickets and put in the bags we are having a bake sale, um, and we're doing a 50-50, and uh, Jim Cole and a lot of his musician friends are gonna perform for us. We need uh, more donations to build baskets. We also accept ready-made baskets. New items that they would like to receive in a basket, and um, if you have a theme, it makes it easier to figure out what to put in the basket. Like there's one here somebody built for dogs, so there's anything like, you know, you whatever basket you want to make then if you don't really want to build a basket then maybe just items to put in a basket like that. We'd like to be at 200 and we want to say okay September 15th we have to be finished because we have to have them wrapped um, and uh, one of our ladies Cheryl types up all the uh, contents in there for us so we have to get those ready and the other thing is we're having people take 20 and storm at their home. I mean, can you <laughs> We have 80, 80 with uh, basket sitters right now. So they're, they're gonna keep, they keep them in their home. They got them in their home. Their bedroom looks like that bedroom in there. And then the morning of, they're bringing them over. We want people to come to our party. You know, if it's kind of busy, just make friends with your neighbor and, and enjoy the day. If you would like to donate a basket and items for this fundraiser, you can call Kathy at 260-271-9374. The Pretty in Pink party will take place Sunday, October 8th from 3 to 6 p.m. at Everglades Recreation. All money raised is donated to UF Health Leesburg Hospital's Foundation for its free mammogram voucher program. Last year's event raised almost $64,000. In June, the Lake Sumter Lions Club gave area kids between the ages of six months old and six years old access to free vision screenings with Sight for Kids, a school-based vision testing program. It's the most uh, satisfying thing I've ever done. It, it, uh, um, I tell people that when we find a problem that a child has that the parents never knew about and they take them to an eye doctor for a full eye exam and glasses, we've changed their lives. Changed their lives the rest of their lives. Children don't know when they can't see well. Okay. And often parents uh, will have parents say, well, he never complained. And the reason he never complained is because he thinks everyone sees things blurry. We've done 25,000 children in the last seven years in, in this club, and uh, about 12% of them had a problem. So 12% of those kids, uh, most of them, parents never knew had a, had a problem. We identified for them to do something about it. It scans the eye, measures the shape of the eye, and then it tells us on the, on, the, uh, on the screen whether or not it's a pass, which means it couldn't find a problem, or whether it's what we call refer, which means we should send the information from the scanner to the Kidsite Foundation in uh, Gainesville, Florida. Lake Sumter Lions Club members have screened more than 25,000 children since starting the program in 2016. Learn more about charitable clubs helping to bridge gaps in health care starting on the front page of Wednesday's Daily Sun. Four executive golf courses will receive extensive improvements and Paradise Recreation will be completely renovated within the next fiscal year. 
Last week, supervisors with the Village Center Community Development District and Sumter Landing CDD approved almost $172 million dedicated to recreation amenity expenses. The Amenity Authority Committee for the Villages north of County Road 466 unanimously approved the plan for a complete demolition and rebuild of Paradise Recreation. This will include adding 10,000 square feet to the current layout for that center that dates back to 1984. Mark Twain Library will be expanded and there will be the addition of a new resort style pool, gas fire pit, computer room, expanded game room and additional seating and picnic areas. Construction should begin in summer of 2024 and a grand reopening is expected by the summer of 2025. Amberwood, Chula Vista, Pelican, and Pimlico Executive Golf Courses will each undergo full renovations next year, receiving updated greens, tee boxes, and fairways, as well as enhancements to bunkers and landscaping. The golf improvements are part of the district's updated maintenance plan. In 2022, about 2.5 million rounds of golf were played on executive golf courses within the villages. Sumter Landing supervisors also approved about $1.2 million for the fitness fund for seven fit clubs in the villages. After this short break, residents give an activity of their past a kick. Stay with us. More Villages Lifestyle News is coming up right after this on VNN. Going on now at Cart World Golf Cars, the summer clearance. All new 2023 club cars and garrias must go. Buy now and save big. Model year and discounts up to $1,250. Whether you're in the market for a two, four, or six seater with gas, electric, or lithium power, Cart World has it. There's never been a better time to buy. Hurry, don't miss out. When these cars are gone, so are these prices. The link between falling and hearing loss is, is well documented. Believe it or not, people with uh, hearing loss are three times more likely uh, to have a severe fall. Um, and we all know what happens uh, with a severe fall. You wind up hospitalized in a lot of cases, you break your hip. A lot of people die within 12 months uh, of that break, unfortunately. So the great news is, is, is just treating your hearing loss uh, significantly reduces your fall risk. Village of LaBelle resident Joe Kelly used to be a physical education teacher. That experience inspired him to bring a childhood game to residents in this community. It's just kickball. On Monday, Joe helped to lead a kickball 101 social offered by the Village's Recreation and Parks Department. I just thought it'd be a good idea down here. Older people doing kickball and everyone has the same comment. I haven't done this in 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. Some of these have been with me for seven years now. I go over all the rules right in the beginning. It's very simple. And uh, we just say, okay, now we're going to play. Now today we have quite a few new people here. So I'm going to have to go over all the rules with the whole group. You're doing a lot of running. Um, there's no sitting, there's no benches like in the softball over there. We play usually two games, then an hour and 20 minutes, and that's the extent of the whole thing. We don't have a league. We don't keep one loss records. It's just for fun. You know, people say, well, do I have to be every time? No. You come when you can. If you can't make it, you can't make it. Where if you're on a team, you're obligated. No obligation here. Say to anyone, try it one time. Come down, bring your friends, bring your neighbor, whatever. You don't like it, hey, nothing lost. If you want to have fun and join It's Just Kickball, they play at 4 p.m. on the first and third Monday of each month at Saddlebrook Softball Complex. Here's your VNN five-day weather. 
From the WVLG Weather Center, this is Christopher James with your VNN five-day forecast. Got a sunny weekend ahead in the villages, but before that, Thursday looks to be a bit wet. 60% chance of showers throughout the day with a high of 86. Friday's high 86, 85 on Saturday. Going to be sunny and bright throughout the weekend here in Florida's friendliest hometown. On Sunday afternoon, 44 of the village's top tier golfers gathered at Bonifay Country Club. They are part of the Gold Tee Group member member. They played from the Gold Tees on a course that measured close to 6,500 yards. The two-man, two-day format featured nine holes of scramble, nine of alternate shot, and nine of best ball. Tim Rogers and Tom Bell claimed net honors with a 163, three shots ahead of Mark Brown and Glenn Delabovi. Mark didn't think they had a legitimate chance, but says they played so well on the back nine. It's something he and Glenn will always remember. Mark says he never felt better about a group of guys than he does with this group. Member Bob Levy says these golfers embraced a challenge. He says they have guys who continue to come to the villages that want a better challenge than playing the blue and white tees. Bob met with Bonifay officials requesting fast greens, tough pin placement, and tee markers at the back of the gold territory, and he says they did it, and it was outstanding. Village of Lake Denham resident Dick DeQuazy says when he found out about this golf group, he jumped at the opportunity because he says it was perfect for him. Tom says this starts a legacy for the Gold Tee Group Championship, and it's good bragging rights for sure. For more on this story, look at the Only in the Villages feature starting on the front page of Wednesday's Daily Sun. Up next, we're going to take you to a community musical offering. Your Village's soundtrack is here for you throughout hurricane season and severe weather season. The Dahlia, now a Category 4 hurricane. This WVLG hurricane update is brought to you by Village's Insurance. Please listen carefully. And we're also going to be joined by our forecasters, Dave Toll and Christopher James. If you take a look at your home here in the villages, that's getting almost two-thirds of the way the up. Rainfall the in the villages between one and four inches, and the wind speeds we expect going between 30 and 40 miles an hour during the brunt of the storm. This hurricane update, we have the information you need when you need it. Stay tuned to WVLG. During the acoustic series at Spanish Springs on Tuesday, 3P had residents dancing and singing along. Here's a look and listen. Oh, oh, baby, what it all comes down to. 
Thank you. The one is more sick. Thank you. A Village of Orange Blossom Gardens resident drew inspiration from her closet filled with costumes to write the Starlight Player's next performance, Shop Around. The production will take place in a store called The Costume Man. In between dialogues between customers and workers, the audience will hear songs like Shop Around, Get Happy, Busy Man, and more. Lynn Albers says she likes to write positive things so everyone's happy to be together. There will be 25 people in the show that will be performed at 3 and 7 p.m. Saturday, September 30th at Seabreeze Recreation. Tickets are $10 for villagers and their guests with proper ID. Get those tickets by calling Penny at 352-901-4508. We'll be back with more news from Florida's friendliest hometown. Stay with us. More Villages Lifestyle News is coming up right after this on VNN. At Cody's, you're walking into a great bar with fantastic drink options, including two for one happy hour, and a very cool place to eat with great food and phenomenal service. I love the BOGO fajitas every Wednesday, and we love coming here and feel like family. Just like family, with loads of smiles for you at Cody's Original Roadhouse in Brownwood and Lake Sumter Landing. If you have a hearing loss but won't wear a hearing aid, we have exciting news for you. It's the Lyric Invisible Hearing System. It's placed deep in your ear canal, it's completely undetectable, and the insertion process takes only minutes with no surgery, medication, or pain involved. You wear 24 hours a day, there's no maintenance and no batteries to change. You can sleep, shower, and exercise with it. And practically the time it's taken us to tell you about this hearing device, we just fit this patient. Call right now and find out if Lyric is right for you. This is VNN. The Wildwood Middle High School cross country team felt some extra pressure Saturday, but they still wanted to represent their program in the right way. Without two of their top runners, the Wildcats were one runner short of qualifying for a team score at their home meet. Yet a few stepped up to post their best individual times of the year. Senior Eric Grable shaved two minutes off his previous time to finish 12th, by posting a time under 20 minutes, the team is hopeful Eric can become a scorer for the team. Fellow senior David Surface finished 18th. Despite Wildwood's teams not being at full strength, coach Dewan Graham says they have seen improvement in their newer runners. They will compete Saturday at the Village's Buffalo Invitational. Following a 3-1 win at Hawthorne Monday, Wildwood's volleyball team was hoping to win back-to-back -back matches for the first time this season. However, they came up short against Lake Weir High School Tuesday night. Coach Kelly Scheip says they would have a fantastic play, work really hard to serve and then miss the serve, or they worked really hard to get everything up in a big long rally and they hit it into the net or hit it into the floor, saying this team has to finish. Outside hitter Lexi McRae says they just didn't have that energy from Monday, but they are going to get it back Thursday in a Class 1A District 8 match, 6.30 p.m. in Wildwood. Follow the Daily Sun Sports section for more local high school sports coverage. Wildwood Middle High School's Advancement via Individual Determination, also called AVID program, hosted its inaugural back-to-school bash last week for Wildwood families. The event included a variety of large inflatables and games for families to enjoy together, and it was used as a fundraiser for the program as well. AVID is an international organization that prepares students in middle school and high school for post-secondary and career success. The program is presented across the Sumter County School District in all public middle schools and public high schools. And the Wildwood Wildcats Booster Club has printed its annual discount cards that feature deals from more than 50 businesses in the Wildwood area. Each card is $10. If you purchase one from a school club, those funds will go right back to the club. 
And if you get one from a Booster Club member, the funds will go toward their general fund, which is used for buying Wildwood teachers school supplies to putting the money towards scholarships for Wildwood students. You can get a discount card between 8.30 a.m. and 1 p.m. this Saturday at the Brownwood Farmers Market. It's time now for a brief commercial break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. More Villages Lifestyle News is coming up right after this on VNN. This hurricane preparedness tip from VNN and WVLG is brought to you by The Villages Insurance. Hi, this is WVLG staff forecaster Christopher James. Supplies are exceptionally important during this hurricane season. What type of supplies? At least a three-day supply of bottled water or a minimum of one gallon per person per day. At least a three-day supply of non-perishable, easy-to-prepare food. A manual can opener flashlights and extra batteries, multi-purpose tools such as a Swiss army knife, cell phones with chargers and a car charger adapter, battery powered or hand crank radio and extra batteries, family and emergency contact info, extra cash, a map of the area in case GPS services are down. Keep listening for more information, including supplies, pet tips, and detailed information to keep on hand during hurricane season, presented by The Villages Insurance. And thanks for listening to Your Villages Soundtrack, WVLG. Streaming live from Lake Sumter Landing in a small building with big windows near the water. AM 640, 102.7 and 104.5 FM. Your soundtrack to the villages. WVLG Wildwood. Clap your hands and stop your feet. Time now for the Village's Entertainment Beat. I'm Natalie, here with your Entertainment Beat. Buckle up, because this Friday is the Friday Night Car Show at Brownwood, featuring the Village's Vets Corvettes Club. And not far behind, the September Car Club Showcase will be at Brownwood next week on the 30th. You can find more information on all car events at thevillagesentertainment.com under free entertainment and special events, including dates, featured car club information, and listings of live music for each event. Farmer's Market is every Saturday at Brownwood from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. This is a great time to buy local produce and grab a beverage from one of the entertainment bar huts, and this fall season, we have a Farmer's Market drink special for you. The Apple Cider Mimosa celebrates seasonal harvest with bubbly cider. That drink special is available every Saturday at Brownwood through November and at all daytime events, so be sure to check it out and try a sip. Entertainment bar huts are open every night at nightly entertainment venues with a happy hour of 5 to 6. You can see the monthly lineup for entertainment at each venue online or you can visit our crew at Market Nights where we hand out the calendars for free. You can also sign up for our email where we send out the calendar each month or you can find the next month's calendar in your daily sun on the fourth Sunday of the month. Don't forget to check out our ticketed events online at thevillagesentertainment.com and come see us at a box office location or give us a call over the phone to get more information on your favorite events and even purchase tickets. Tune in next time when the entertainment team goes behind the scenes of one of the Savannah Center's upcoming productions about your favorite spooky household, The Addams Family. That's your entertainment beat today and I'll see you next time. Thanks, Natalie. If you enjoy free musical entertainment, and who doesn't? The Villages is the place for you. These are the bands scheduled to play Thursday night.
That's all the news we have for you now. Make sure to pick up a copy of Thursday's Daily Sun for more construction updates this time at Spanish Springs Town Square. Keep embracing the village's active adult lifestyle. Thanks for watching your VNN Lifestyle News Show. When cleaning your air ducts, it's important to clean the entire system. An air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer removes pounds of trapped dirt, dust, and allergens from your home completely. A clean that improves your home's indoor air quality, keeps your home cleaner longer, and can even improve the efficiency of your HVAC system. We want you to have the cleanest and healthiest indoor air possible. So call for a free inspection today. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. 23 Lincoln Corsair offers you a personal sanctuary on every drive with its freshly redesigned interior and exterior styling, plus standard features like intelligent adaptive cruise control, blind spot warning, and more. And with 90 new Lincolns in stock or arriving soon, there's never been a better time to visit Plaza and drive home your new Lincoln. Get 1.9% APR for 36 months, plus up to 32.50 in savings on the 2023 Nautilus. At Plaza Lincoln, our drive to be the best starts with you. Highway 441 across from the Leesburg Airport.